Here, a circular ring carries a uniformly distributed positive charge and lies in XY plane with center at origin of coordinate system. If at a point 0, 0, Z, electric field is E, then which of the following graphs is correct? So, first of all, in case of ring, we know that if there is a ring of radius A and suppose there is a point at distance X from the center of the ring on axis of the ring, this is the point P, then electric field at this point is going to be equal to q x divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus x square raised to the power 3 by 2. So, in this electric field, the variable part is this portion only x divided by a square plus x square raised to the power 3 by 2. So, this is the variable portion. Rest of the things are constant. So, we have to see the variation of this. At x equal to 0, y is 0, it is quite evident. So, this option is not going to be there, this option is not going to be there. Only these are the two options which are left. So, just by logic here, we can get the answer without any calculation also. Because as we know that since ring is positively charged, so if we look to the right of the ring, then direction of electric field is this way and to the left of the ring direction has to be this way. That means, if we assume this direction as the positive direction, then this direction must be the negative. That means for x negative, the field has to be negative. So, option C has to be correct option. But just for your information, if we differentiate this dy by dx and put it equal to 0, then we will get a position of x where this field is maximum and after that it decreases. So, normally the graph goes like this. The field first increases and then decreases to 0. And the same thing happens on other side but in negative direction. So, option C will be the best option to this question.